Yo, what's up? So today I'm gonna be showing you, uh, showing you how to, uh, how I actually do a non-precision uh, R and RMP approach in the fly-by-wire H32NX. Um, so I'm currently in a flight from Kennedy um, down to uh, TGPY, Mars Bishop International in Grenada. Uh, four hours into the flight, we are slowly approaching top of descent in a couple of miles. So we're going to do a managed descent. Uh, we'll do initial 15,000. And have to set initially down to 15,000 feet. I have three tons of fuel left, which should be enough to make it there. We're going to enter the destination data pretty soon as well. Let's just pull up the chart. Um, let's pull up the approach chart. Um, let me not miss the top of the scent. Do we manage the scent down? We have some restrictions. We could probably set the final altitude and see how the plane walks us down to that altitude. The VNAV works pretty well in this aircraft. I believe it can bring us down from uh, from cruise to our final approach out. Okay, top of descent. It just went from here and just gone. We don't lose the profile. Eighty six hundred feet away from the profile. I believe she will catch up. Um, so we're gonna be doing the RNF GNSS runway one zero here today. So this is the chart. We're gonna be coming in from V10, um, three thousand feet. Uh, then we're gonna go from uh, V10. We're going straight to Kapam. At Kapam, we should be at about two thousand feet. And from Kapam is Aniba and the R and R. So uh, let's go ahead and enter in what the plane is asking for the destination data. So let's get the minimum from the chat. The minimum is five five zero. I will have five five zero straight in landing. We're gonna enter in six hundred, save fifty feet, or if we have to uh, go around. If you don't want to play, has to actually uh, speed up, not speed up the trust. Um, let's see, it, it should be able to catch back the, the profile for itself. I have no clue why that happened. Could help it out with speed brakes. Anyways, I doubt they use speed brakes at this altitude. 4,000 feet per minute, that's a crazy answer. Okay, so back to the. Uh, let's get the wind information in. So wind one four zero one five knots put that in. One four zero slash one five. Temperature is thirty one and Greenwich one zero one three. So. Okay. One zero one three, and we got that in. Okay, so we filled out that page. Look at look at look at the V now tweaking now. Look the profile go two thousand feet above us. What the hell is going on, man? So unlike AILS, our nav is non precision. We doesn't have, we don't have a localizer or a glide slope indicators, but um, with VNAV, the play the the uh, plane makes some uh, scales here. You'd see a box for a uh, lateral and a box here, but um, the fly by wire only only has the L dev scale. So you'll see that uh, when we come in for the landing. So it's unable to do final up like in the Phoenix. You can press the approach uh, approach button. Uh, when on final on an R and L, and the plane will uh, do it like if it's doing the ILS. 
so on the fly by wire you'll have to do the rnf manual so so from kappa we go down to 700 feet uh to aniba and from aniba it's a three degree descent down to the runway three degrees so remember that we're gonna be using that pretty uh, shortly here so i'll catch back with you guys when we are uh five miles uh, let's say uh, right here 10 miles from kapam all right so we are six miles from kapam inbound for the rnav runway one zero um transition alt is uh actually four thousand so go ahead and set one zero one three one zero one three check should be descending to two thousand now um my cap am and then seventeen hundred for any so we set the seventeen hundred now um so 1700 from any but we're gonna do three degree descent down to the runway so we have grenada the island of grenada to our left um actually landing light should have been on seat but sense is already on um auto brake we're gonna do low and i'm the spoilers for now so i usually do um i usually start slowing down pretty early to be honest for the rnf especially for grenada because uh, you start the descent pretty close to the runway. The three degree descent is like four miles, so we, we won't be doing that. This uh, we won't be doing that approach decelerated. So I'll up activate the approach phase as of now to so start slowing now. We level off at two thousand, so we we'll start losing the speed now. Um, we are, we are already like uh, on a ten miles, ten miles out. Let's see. Yeah, we're like yeah we're like 10 miles out from the runway so it starts slowing down and deceling uh here you can see the elder popped up so since i won't be doing this de uh decelerated i'll go flap one at one mile from aniba aniba i'll drop gear i'll drop my gear flap tree and and uh, 0 0.3 miles away i'll start the three degree descent so for the three degree descent we're gonna hit this here and hit this button here so we're gonna set the fpa flight plat flight path angle and we're gonna start a three degree descent so we can go flap flap two we can lose the, the speed uh, let's go gear down now we're gonna drop in its nose and we'll switch to fba flight path angle then we're gonna set the flight path angle with this knob here we're gonna set it to negative three so is that a three degree descent no what the hell that is not what's supposed to happen and that is not also what's happening. Three degree descent. So you can see here negative three, and we'll go flap three, flap four. Since we start that descent late, we're gonna add some more to it, like I'll go 3.5. And we'll put on the nose with lights. So you'll have to, based on the approach you're doing, you'll look here and you'll see uh, what. A flight path angle it have to take so here's a three degrees so i would do three degrees but since it was pretty high you can see i'm four white right now so i'll just increase the flight path angle so you can uh get back onto the uh flight path angle let me do a wind check winds 14015 knots still on four whites Let's see three white uh, let's take our flight director we only need flight director and we'll have on the bird one thousand two whites two red so we can go back down to three degrees actually i think i'll take over no let's go my aircraft 
I have to use the bird here. The bird is where the tail of the aircraft is. Hundred above. Okay. Hundred above checks dropping too low. So we have a minimum. wind blowing from the right. Minimums continue. Um, let me turn back up my song. So on the non-precision approaches, you have to disengage your autopilot before you reach your, your minimum and land the aircraft for yourself. Get her back on the center line. Buses, diesel. Can we make the exit here? Yeah, we can make that. It was as idle, manual braking. And we make the first exit. Oh. Alright, so that's how you do the. Non precision, that's how I do a non precision approach. I should see there are other ways to do it. So, the main thing you have to do is switch to FBA mode by pressing this button. You will see, um, see, is switch from heading the track and FP flight path angle. You change from VS, you change from vertical speed to flight path angle. You set the flight path angle that's in the chat. Um, 0 0.3, I do 0 0.3 miles before the final, uh, the, the descent, the descent point, like here. Yeah. Um, I do 0 0.3 miles from it, uh, to start the descent. And I don't, um, for this approach, you could do a R and R approach, a decelerated R and R approach, but honestly, sometimes I don't do it because planes, Plane usually don't lose the speed, so I don't usually do it. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. So if you have any questions, please do drop it in the comments. So try help. So peace out.